Hey everybody, Sarah Grillo here. And so I want to let you know that I have this link here from somebody telling me, read this article, here's why CFA could become the new MBA. I'm going to post the link here. Okay. The CFA will never, 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 never be the MBA. Okay. And here's why. You can take the CFA while you're working. The CFA costs a fraction of what the MBA costs. If everybody could do the CFA, they would. Agree? The CFA, and I can say this because I have an MBA from a top school, one of the top financial MBA programs in the world. The MBA will never compare okay, to what the CFA is because on average, first of all, you get to choose what courses you take in the MBA program. You can avoid the really hard financial stuff if you want. Um, the CFA is like a mile wide and an inch deep, whereas the MBA, if you choose to go into the hardcore finance, you can, but you could pass through an MBA program and even one from like a really good school like where I went, you could pass through these programs without doing any really hardcore math if you wanted to. Okay, it's just that simple. In my opinion, if you can get the CFA and the MBA, I would go for the CFA if you wanna be in core finance. Now the MBA teaches you some soft skills like negotiation and HR management and marketing, but even then I felt like those courses were not really that relevant to real life. It's very much geared towards if you wanna work at like a large corporation, but if you're gonna work at like a mid-sized company or a small company, you don't need an MBA to navigate around and like, you know, if you're not gonna be a manager of like 300 people, you know what I mean? Then um, the MBA is probably not something that you'll need in order to be successful in business. But in general, I feel like by the way, neither of these designations are really that critical despite what everybody tells you now keep in mind the cfa program the cfa institute has a marketing agenda any mba program has a marketing agenda keep in mind that both of these want to hook you in by saying that if you do this you'll be insured success for the rest of your life and you're not what i've learned in my tenure here over my professional career is that your courage and determination and your persistence and the ability to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty where no one else will is going to determine your success okay and the the entitled attitude that these programs give you i don't think is even it, it it's it's false it's fictional it's not true so um i hope this advice is useful whichever one you choose but just keep in mind that as i said neither one is going to really make sure that your paycheck goes up what's going to make sure that that happens is you really and you don't need either set of education to to get that so um Thank you everybody for watching and please subscribe.